it was one of my new year resolutions do people have attitude hi welcome to another video on the channel and today i'm going to be talking about my experience in the gym and why i decided to quit going to the gym now i'm not a fitness model or a fitness guru or even a fitness content creator but i have had my experiences with the gym and you know i just wanted to share my reasons for quitting the gym and hopefully someone i'm talking to out there can relate and you know just realize that quitting the gym is not going to be the end of the world okay so let's dive right into it the very first thing was the expense i don't know how much gym membership is in your area but where i am the closest gym to here costs me close to twenty thousand naira naira per month i started going to the gym january this year it was one of my new year resolutions Duh. i mean like join the club get in line i know i was working two jobs so i was getting two salaries so i could afford it and then you know I, I just you know i was going to the gym and i was enjoying myself and everything but then you know tragedy struck and i lost one of my jobs so i was like you know what i can't i can't continue when i lost the job i still paid one more membership because i still thought it was worth it but then more and more things just started happening that just made me realize that this gym thing just might not be for me but first of all and the biggest issue is the expense it was part of my routine and it felt really weird when i had to stop but eventually i got used to it so life doesn't end when you stop going to the gym all right i mean i'm still alive i'm still here Hi. The next thing that really tired me out about going to the gym i was going to the gym four to five times a week so sometimes some days i, I would skip I was supposed to go to the gym that day, but I was scared because of the commute. Now, don't get me wrong, the gym is close to my house. It just got to a point where the, the commute was, was getting tiring. I work two jobs. So it's, it's especially important that I start my day very early so that I can finish the work for one job from, let's say, 9 to 12. And then I would stop for my lunch break I would eat between 12 and 1. And then from 12 to 5, I can work the second job and there can just be a balance in addition to working my two jobs i was also a full-time content creator so after the day's work i still the evening i still have to like plan my content film content sometimes edit content i was just i'm, I'm a very busy person or i was a very busy person i still am anyways you know, we'll get there we'll get there anyway yeah I, i'm really really busy so the commute to the gym i had to wake up by like six o'clock get dressed by 6 30 i'm out the door I, I had a friend that used to drive me to the gym so he would pick me up and then we'd go to the gym from here to the gym that's like a let's say 15 minute drive on a good morning where there's no traffic because this is we're talking about early morning in in the streets of lagos there is traffic so sometimes like going to the gym from my house even though the gym is not too far away was already like 15 20 30 minutes and then you get to the gym and the machine that you want to use is in use so you have to like stretch or i mean of course always do your stretches before you start working out but then you know you have to do an extra session of stretching because you're waiting for this person to be done like th there's just this waiting for machines to be done looking for dumbbells up and down looking for weights you know gym people have attitude it's disgusting <laughs> they used to hug um equipment hug weights hug dumbbells and i'm like you're not using this thing you say hey that's the next thing i'm using so i want to keep it here i'm like because of all the waiting and all the huggers and everything it would take me like two hours to work out something that shouldn't take more than an hour max i left the house by 6 30 it took me 30 minutes to get to the gym so that's already seven o'clock two hours is already nine o'clock by the time i get home and i want to shower i was there ready for the day it's already 10 o'clock 10 30 like I, my day starting by 10 30 so the working of the two jobs now will now pour out from five o'clock into like 6 7 p.m and then the editing and the working on my own content is not going to spill into 1 a.m that is how i developed the very horrible sleeping habit habits that i have now i sleep by 2 a.m i will tell myself i'm going to sleep early today i'm going to sleep early today but i would always always find a way to sleep by 1 a.m 2 a.m i I'm, I'm really working on it to try and bring my sleep schedule back to normal where the latest i would sleep would be like 12 a.m but bro it's I don't know my sleep schedule is messed up basically so that's one of the reasons i quit the gym actually the third thing about quitting the gym was ego lifting there were also these women in the gym 
the few women in the gym they, are, they look like people that have been coming to the gym like they, they've been here they're the ogs they're the otobus of the female gym goers and they will be lifting these weights they will be flinging these things around doing some shit that i can't even i'm like i mean you're a woman i'm a woman i can do it too <laughs> nothing to it well the day i almost crushed my knee trying to do um what, what's that stupid is it romanian bulgarian split squat i nearly shattered my knee like trainers in the gym they don't really pay attention to you unless you're paying them to but one of the trainers had to come to me and say stop it relax calm down i was physically struggling that's how bad it was like my knees were hurting and I, my, my leg was shaking and i was still trying to push through like I started doing everybody for tiktok they do and everybody for this gym they do and me so if i go do ego lifting is a real thing and it's a real problem i know i'm not supposed to compare myself to other people but sometimes i just can't help it that's what my dad used to raise me can't you see uh shite b does shite b have to head shite b is always coming first can't you see the way that one d5.0 i've just grown up now to just always compare myself to others and i know it's a bad thing i'm working on it but for now <laughs> for now <laughs> it's hurting and in the gym there is a high possibility that that would physically hurt me so it's also one of the things i put into consideration when i was when i came to the final conclusion of quitting the gym the last and final thing is that i wasn't really seeing any results when i initially started going to the gym it was with the hope that i was going to lose weight and then eventually i was like you know what because after like two three weeks sorry two three months i wasn't losing weight and i was just like i know a lot of people will say that going to the gym is not what to make you lose weight it's your diet and everything i was i was doing all that i bought portion control bowls i did you know i was trying to I, I tried to reduce you know the amount of food that i intake i tried to reduce how often i eat and everything and in fact before i moved to where i'm staying now um i was living with a friend who lives in a family house so the portions of food that i was being given then that was actually where all the weight gain started from that's where i gained like 5 kg the amount of food they give us per sitting is is enormous how my friend is not huge is what i do not understand right now i used to come down late for dinner so they would have already dished my food and it was always a large portion and i cannot waste it because <laughs> i'm staying in somebody's house it's going to be very rude to throw their food away so i had to eat everything but now i'm not even eating half of what they used to give me there like my food intake has drastically reduced and i was going to the gym and i wasn't losing weight i was still stuck at 74 kg and i was like so what why am i here exactly <laughs> i'm spending 20k per month to come and lift iron waste time destroy my sleep schedule deal with egotistic maniacs who hog gym equipment i'm like and at the end of the day i'm not losing weight then what is the freaking point i'm just like you know what Plus the fact that I can't even cook or afford it again. Like if it's that I couldn't easily afford it, but I, I was getting all these other benefits from it. People in the gym were nice. I'm actually losing weight, and you know everything was still calm. I wouldn't mind still squeezing 20k out of my monthly income to go to the gym, but I would, I just wasn't seeing results all around, and I was like, you know what? I'm not doing it again. It's not by force. So last month, you know, I said my gym, my monthly gym membership was about twenty thousand. I was like nineteen thousand five hundred ish. So I just took that money and I used it to buy myself a pair of five kg dumbbells. And now I work out in the morning. I normally wake up now around seven, not six thirty anymore. I wake up around seven. I will do my devotion, speak to my Jesus. And then for like 30 minutes, I would go into the other room there where my dumbbells are and I would do like a quick workout and then I would come back out, I would shower, then I would get dressed and get to my desk. Usually by 9 o'clock, if I'm being really, really lazy, 9.30, I'm at my desk and I'm working. So that commute has been cut out so the it's a one-time expense because i bought the dumbbells they are mine they are mine forever if i want to be working out every single day for the next forever it's my dumbbell so i've cut out the expense and all i need to do the the travel that i need to go through to work out now is just to go to the other room so i've cut out the commute and i've cut out the 
egotistical machine huggers and the huggers of weights and dumbbells they are mine my dumbbell is my own nobody can drag it with me it's not long enough for me to have started seeing results yet but to be honest at this point i think i've given up on this whole weight loss stuff the point now is to try and maintain the weight because if i enter if i should mistakenly enter 75 i might just starve myself sorry that that was a bad joke like nobody would see me and call me fat nobody would see me and call me big but to me i just feel like to be 75 kg at 22 is not healthy for me for me i know that weight is a very sensitive subject in life right now if i end up losing weight i will if i don't i must not pass the 74 kg that i'm in all right <laughs> So yeah, that's basically the, that's basically like the summation of all the reasons that I decided to quit the gym. And this is just me telling you that if you quit the gym, and let me tell you something, you will not die. Get yourself a pair of dumbbells or a set of dumbbells. Because honestly, if I had the money to buy myself a set of dumbbells, maybe some fives, some tens, maybe a pair of fifteens, I would be, I would, in fact, what is a gym? Who is a gym? And in Jabe, I don't know who that is. If you feel the need to stop going to the gym, I think you can. All you need to do is just make sure that you get your steps in and find some kind of home workout to do. If you don't like working with dumbbells, there's a lot of all these dance workouts that people are doing nowadays that are, that's actually proving to be very effective. The thing about your body and all this exercising is that you just need to move. You just need to be, be moving your body use your muscles if you don't use your muscles they will deteriorate because your body your body likes to conserve energy so if your muscles are not being used then they won't be supplied with nutrients water oxygen all those things that make them grow so in reality you don't really need the gym you just need exercise so if going to the gym is how you get your exercise then go on be going to the gym but if going to the gym is how you get your exercise but it's getting tiring like it was getting tiring for me but you now like kind of feel like this is the only way to get exercise and you feel stuck in that cycle i'm just here to tell you that it's possible to get your exercise outside of the gym that is all for this video really i just wanted to share that with you guys if you have any comments about all that i've said please let me know in the comment section like this video and subscribe to this channel for more content i will see you in my next video bye